I'm a third generation electrician out of Portland, Oregon. I belong to the IBEW Local 48. I got in the apprenticeship, which is a five year program in 1993. So I went to school for five years. I turned out in 98, I became a German electrician in Oregon and Washington. They gave me an opportunity to be a foreman. And that means that I'm gonna run a crew, run a project, I mean the details, all the planning, all the, all the little things that everyone needs to have before they can actually make the installations. What happened that year was that I didn't know what I was doing because the apprenticeship does a great job of teaching us how to be electricians, understanding electrical theory, doing electrical installations, so on and so forth, but it doesn't teach you how to manage people and it doesn't teach you how to coordinate with other trades and things like that. That was a bad thing for me. I had no background in managing people, so I did my best, but it, after a year, the job had lost 25% and I was losing a lot of sleep at night. So at 28 years old, I felt like I had failed miserably and I was looking at my career saying, now what am I gonna do? What I realized was that most of the field leaders that I would run into had the same experience I did. When they got an opportunity to run work, they also weren't trained on, on leadership. Over columns, and these are all the, options you can have the first time I used Bluebeam was in the uh, fall of 2016. The company I worked for at the time was building two towers um, in the city I live in. When they sat me down at a computer and they said, here's Bluebeam, you can mark up PDFs. Um, but what they really wanted was for me to create um, visual representations of the work we were gonna do and also to get takeoff information if possible. I get material counts from that. The concept was known, but nobody could really explain it to me. I just playing with the, the few minimal tools I could make sense of in Bluebeam, and, and I was struggling with it, to be honest. And about three weeks to a month later, they brought in another person who was gonna detail the other tower with the other general foreman. And after a couple of days, we both looked at each other and said, do you know how to do this? Do you know what they're asking us to do? We, we both agreed that we didn't and we'd been had. And so as days and weeks went on, we started to find little, little features in there and we got really excited about it because we're like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what we might have dreamed of back then because we can change line widths and colors and line types. And maybe we make a mistake, we go back, we move something, we alter it. We're like, okay, this is great. My role at Rosaden is training field leaders, our foreman, our general foreman, our superintendents, our area superintendents. And what we're talking about is leadership more than we're talking about being the boss. We're talking about people skills. We're talking about the human side of things. And the secondary thing is, is detailing in Bluebeam and really working through the process of planning. And so what we're doing with Bluebeam right now is we're giving people the tools they need. And what we're gonna do is start to build on those things and become more of an exercise in planning. That's when I start talking about um, what a great tool Bluebeam is for that. In addition to the effective communication module, that a visual is so much better than just verbal instruction. That if we can leave a document behind, but also keep it with us, which we can do by using Bluebeam, Bluebeam Studio, for instance, we know that even if we forgot to say the words, that it's possible that the people that are actually out there making the, you know, making the installation when you can't be there have the best instructions possible. He's very specific and very detailed. To be able to do the markups we need, to be able to, to make our own custom tools and lay them down, I mean, it's just... <laughs> it was mind-blowing, no, to say the least. I've used it for probably the past seven years in the management role. It's a great markup tool. It's a good sharing platform because multiple people can mark up something and uh, you can see underneath who's marked it up and be able to know when that timestamp is. I already see a lot more efficiency because things are becoming automated. As you, as you customize your own tool set, it counts everything for you. you. You can't get easier than that. He's been able to take Bluebeam and really fine tune it for the electrical side. That uh, our electricians that don't use it for other things are able to really tone in that, that tool for the task that they are uh, assigned to do. For people in the industry, it's important in a lot of cases that the people who are giving them instruction know the world they live in. So this is where I feel like I have a strong advantage is in the leadership side because I've had things go wrong, I've done the wrong things. And the same thing with Bluebeam and detailing and planning is being able to give people the confidence that I can help them get there because I live their life, that I speak their language and that they don't feel like it's just someone who's coming out of left field who doesn't have that. I don't like to see people struggle in this realm and in this world. And even if I'm wrong and even if I don't know anything, I still feel compelled to help. Uh, others. People have so much potential and they give up too early because they get frustrated by how they feel about it, the confidence they lose, and, and it just drives me crazy to see the, the industry do that to people. And I want people to feel like, at least if they know me and if they've experienced my classes, whether it be leadership or otherwise, that they can call me and I will answer the phone. It makes me feel good to be able to do that for people. And I get excited for other people to see them when the light bulb goes on and they go, wow, 
I think I can do this. I think we're going to make it. 